do need to level up some more with the orbs. I, I did forget to do that with Watts. Uh, but we're still working on what we have now. And we're probably not going to get another orb up here anyway. I don't think there was much in the middle of the mountain where, where Jack was hanging out. Can't imagine there being too much up there in terms of uh, fights. And yeah, no, Nico's not here anymore, so... He was there, uh, didn't see what he had. Of course, he is overpriced. I think he has double the price of uh, standard whatever everybody else has. But he does occasionally sell uh, items that, that nobody has in terms of armor. But, yeah, give or take, uh, I'm sure what the gold... Uh, the gold city has is better. Looks like we did level up the boomerang again. I don't think they're actually. You need to work on the fork. No wait, you don't work on the fork, do you? Huh. I think that's it then. Uh, back on the halberd for now then since I think that is it for Xion until we can level up what we do have ready. All right, Jack, he wasn't there. Let me talk to him. Go away, the sage is out. Surprise. Sage Jock went to the Moon Palace. It floats eerily in the Sea of Wanders at Kakara Desert's end. Okay, so now we have a new place to go. We have not been here before. It is, well, it's by Kakara, but... We didn't have access to this place before. Uh, so now, apparently, we do. We can head to the Moon Palace. And I confused the Egatrice by punching it in the face. Because if that's one thing I have learned, is that being punched in the face, that confuses some people. I'm just going to check to see if Nico is hanging out there. Now he is. So let's see if we can go talk to him. Let's just head over. I want to see what he has, just for posterity's sake and probably nothing else. He probably doesn't have anything better than what we have at the Gold City. And of course, he sells it for double the price of what everybody else does. There we go. Hey, you. I love meow tan climbing. Need anything? I need you to shut up with that. Uh, he can also save your game, which is also kind of nice, but once again, I don't need that right now. Uh, he pretty much had what we had bef he has what we had before. What I was on before we went to uh, Gold City. So nothing that great. Uh, you should already have that, or, or better, if you've already been to Gold City. Alright, let's use the drum yet again. We need to head to Kakara. Which is a little bit of a ways away. Pretty much directly north, a little bit to the west of not there, no, here. If I'm correctly, can I land right on it? No. Maybe it's up a little bit more? Now I'm a little bit confused. I swore it was... Hmm. Maybe I can't do that and I just need to go straight for the car first. Because that is our ultimate destination up there. I swear we could just land there. Could, have been, could be wrong. Uh, while we're here, though, we might as well talk to Watts. If I can remember where he is. I think he's just hanging out amongst the trees. He is! Yes, the heat is horrible. Level up some stuff for me. What can we level up? We can level up the axe. Make that... The Wear Buster. Very nice. Uh, Halberd needs to be leveled up. Shion's already on that, so she is working on something that needs to be worked on. It becomes the Oceanid Spear. Uh, we also need to level up the bow. It becomes the Elfin Bow. And then we need to level up the Boomerang, so that becomes the Cobra Shuttle. Look at that funky-ass thing. I know you can't really see it because Watts is in the way, but look at that on the side there. That's insane. And I think we are done for now. Uh, we still need more sword orbs. Surprisingly, the sword is lagging behind, I think, everything else. Yeah, sword is one level lower than everything else that we're working on. That is crazy. Okay. 
Uh, now from Kakara, hold on for one second. Yeah, this uh, this little expedition to Kakara was unnecessary. I was right that you can land pretty much next to where you need to go. However, I just uh, you don't want to land right in the middle of all this like I was doing because this is a giant sea. We'll, we'll go with C. Uh, let's just land up here on the northern side. That's probably the easiest spot for me to get to it from here. Very interesting place that we got here. We do have... I don't believe these are new. I think we have seen Mad Mallards before, along with... Uh, I think those guys are just called Exploding Pumpkins. <laughs> I remember they did not have a very creative name. All right, we have seen those guys before uh, in... Uh, we can head no well in the Kakara Desert, not in the city itself. That'd be weird. Uh, so this is apparently the sea that I've been talking about. We can head over here, and now we can take the ferry. Welcome to Charon's Ferry. Next stop, Moon Palace. There's a lot of nothing in the palace. Don't get lost. The boat's a bit unsteady. I, d I don't... Is it unsteady? It seems to be pretty steady to me. And once again, what are we flying over here? Um, they said that we were heading up, but that, I mean... I'll wait here, because you'll never have another customer, Karen. Not Sharon, not Charon, Charon. That was totally the River Sticks. what do you want me to say? Uh, Marma Blue! He stopped my sailing away reference. I, I should probably just go with Mr. Roboto. That's probably a better one, isn't it? But no, we were sailing. Therefore, the sticks reference for sailing away is better. All right, these guys aren't that difficult, these Mono Blues. They are the only enemy around here, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Die. Die. Freaking Moon Palace, man. These guys... What the hell? Don't run away from me. There we go. Need to level up the gloves again. Magic absorb. How dare you take my magic? Oh wait, I don't have any. You guys are on the one person. You had a, had a 67 percent chance, roundabouts, of of using on somebody that worked, and you chose not to. What the hell is going on here? We got more of these guys, but there is very calm music. Just freaking Mama Blues, Marma Blues everywhere. Let's just continue heading straight up with no real direction in sight. And here we have gone full circle it looks like. Huh. Interesting. So, I believe... I forget which side it is. This place is huge. Um... God. My memory of this place is, is limited. That's the only way I can put it. All right, so we've gone back to the beginning here. Uh, if I go north, and then is it east? If we get, well, there's another guy over here. There it is. There is what we are looking for. Get so lost in here because there's nothing. It's just a giant empty expanse, and that is never good. Uh, we have another crystal orb here. Don't bother. Wait. I mean, it's pretty obvious what you need to use here. Uh, we need to use Lucent Beam, surprisingly, to light up the place. We need to use our light magic, and that has illuminated everything for us. Very nice. Now we can head up. And there's no boss or anything. We just walk straight in, and here's another spirit waiting for us at the bottom of the seed. Wh what's up, dude? Luna! I, Luna, the moon spirit, have awaited you. So sad this place has grown. But enough. Take with you my powers. Go! Mana is fading. And we have gained Luna's power. And we have reached the seventh mana seed. We are moving along. Is that three seeds this week? Holy crap. Received the seed's power. So now we can upgrade everything to level seven. 
And we do have new magic to look at. We have Moon Saber, of course. We also have Moon Energy to buff us, as you can see there by the guy twitching his muscle around a bit. And Lunar Boost. I forget what Lunar Boost does, because I never use it. To be honest, the only thing I'm really concentrating with uh, Xion is, is Undyne. Everything else is nice to level up, and I'll level it up, but... I hardly ever use it, so I forget Luna Boost, what exactly that boosts. Uh, Luna uh, can change form, apparently into a rabbi. Uh, Magic Absorb, which we have seen in use out there, I'll probably be leveling up using that. And then Lunar Magic, question mark. And it's so expensive, it should, you would think it would do a lot of damage, but not, not always, not always. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's that's it for for the moon pals. There was no boss. There was there was none of that. Just a few of these guys and a, a small little puzzle room, which pretty much involved you uh, running around quite a bit. Uh, just for the record, if you're having trouble finding the orb from the only marker in the fucking place, it's north and east. Um, that that's pretty much the way that you need to go. Uh, but if I if I just show you that, then I'm not really showing you know, the difficulty here, so had to get lost at least once, and boy did I. Giant fucking room. Okay, Mama Blue, die. Down you go. Which means since Jock was still not where Jack told us, means we have to head back to the Lofty Mountains yet again. Leaving so soon? Yeah, we, we did everything that we need to do. We're done. So take me across whatever the hell this is. It looks like space, but it's on the freaking world map, so I, I hesitate to call it space, but that's what it looks like. Come again, and now that we are down on the ground, we can not call Flammy on this screen. We can call Flammy on this screen, though. Let's go! We need to head back to the lofty mountains! Of course we do! Why would we need to go anywhere else. Jeez. And I think the the fastest way of getting there is still south. Probably a little bit east too. Um, but where is it? There it is. Past it. Righty. Righty. That's where we need to go. We need to go talk to Jack yet again. I'm, as I said, I will be cutting out the journey back. We have seen this too many times. Back at the top of the lofty mountains. And now we can talk to Jack again. Surely Jock's here this time. Go away, the sage is out. Yeah. Go figure. He's left for Tasnica, the Republic's to the west of here. So he has left for the Republic of Tasnica. And even though we have not been there before, I might have shown it a little bit uh, when we went on the side quest, but. Now let's just finish this level up. Everybody leveled up. Uh, that is our next destination, and we will get there next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Secret of Mana. When we come back, we will head to the Republic of Tasnica. However, I'll have done a little bit of more grinding. Not that it's necessarily needed, but just for posterity's sake. I will take care of that and get all the magic leveled up properly and all the... Uh, weapon levels properly done, and then we can head there next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined as always by my trusty squad and traveling squad of Jake, Xion, and Yancey. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.